Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different than usual. I'm with my roommate and my friend Chastity here. And we are going to tell you guys about the ghost that is haunting our <laughs> condo. Um, this is going to tell you guys all about the different things we are hearing, seeing and experiencing around the condo over the past couple of months. Things have gotten kind of like progressively worse. So we're pretty much just wanting to come on here and tell you guys all about it. There's going to be a video on Chastity's channel at some point around the same time as this where we're going to like record all of the things that's happening trying to get it on camera so more of like the paranormal activity stuff Yeah, happening. we're going to do a video, so. we're going to have like all the lights off and just like a couple different cameras set up kind of all over and see if we can catch some of like the different things we're hearing and seeing yeah. on camera so I'll make sure to link that below whenever hers is actually up and like posted <laughs> yeah. I've been I have been living in this condo since July of 2019. Chastity moved in October 31st of 2019. This has been going on for a bit. Whenever I first moved in, I did not hear anything, see anything, like the vibe was fine, whatever. And the first thing that myself and actually my boyfriend, whenever he was here, heard was like we were just getting ready for bed, going to my room, kind of cleaning up out here, and we had just closed the door, kind of like whatever, getting to bed. And we like heard this like dragging noise like on the carpet almost sounding like something was just being like like the couch almost was like being like pulled on the carpet and like dragged and it like scared us bad enough that we like came out here checked all around like made sure like no one was in the house because like we were alone like yeah no one was here yeah that's like one of the very first things I heard so like the first like terrifying experience that I personally had is I was getting ready for bed again in my room and my bed kind of like faces my walk-in closet into my bathroom area and I swear I saw a figure like a black shadow standing in my closet and it like scared me enough that I flipped on all the lights like and was on FaceTime with my boyfriend like freaked out like freaked right out and then Chastity told me probably yeah, like two weeks later, maybe two weeks or something. Later, she was still, you were still gone with your boyfriend. I was on gone or something. Yeah, and I was sitting here, and actually, my boyfriend at the time was just in my room also. And I was sitting out here on a chair, so like from where I was sitting, her bedroom door is right behind it, so like mm -hmm. you can see in her bedroom or whatever. And I was sitting there, and I had like a little makeup mirror because I was doing my makeup, and I put the mirror up, and like I was doing my makeup, then I looked to the side. There's a black shadow, literally, and it made me to the point where I was like, looked, I was like, then I looked again, nothing was there, so I was like, okay. So then I just still, I was still chilling, I was just doing my makeup, and then once again, I saw the figure again, and I was like, nope. So then, the yeah. next freaky thing that happened to us was probably about like a month ago, I'd say. Chastity texted me at like three something in the morning. Yeah. Like it was very it was late. Very late. And I had just woken up probably like five or ten minutes before because my flowers and like my flower vase that were on my bedside table slammed off my bedside table. I was on the other side of the bed. They were near the back. Like they were like, there's no way they could have tipped off. Like nothing fell off my bed to like hit them off. And then like not even five minutes later, Chastity's texting me. Yeah, and I like texted him and I was like, hey, did you hear that? I didn't fall asleep yet. Like I was mm -hmm. awake just because I don't fall asleep until like 5 a.m. sometimes. And like, I was hearing banging and stuff and then she's like, bro, my flowers just fell off and I was like, what? Because I heard the bang before it happened yeah. to her. Like I heard the bang before her flowers fell off, I think. Yeah, and like we're on like opposite sides of the condo. You can't hear, like I can barely hear when people knock at that door. No, too, like we can sound. barely, like someone could literally be in the living room and, like watching a movie like decently loud yeah. and like the we'll soundproof in here is pretty good. Like you can't hear each other's rooms very well, so. Yeah. It's just weird that that happened also. And, and like, so this next part um, is one of like the other scariest things I guess we've seen around here so pretty much we have a back little patio area and my window faces the back patio so like I can see the whole patio and then like onto like the stairs that go down and onto the street when we're sitting in the living room here we can see like the back patio door like literally right here and one night I saw like a shadow figure like I don't know how to better explain it by the stairs of like a little girl like her body was like just shadow like I can't like see her features like I can't yeah. see like what she's wearing and so I see this like little girl and like the reason I noticed is because I noticed her eyes that's all I could see was like 
eyes like watching me so I, like I immediately went over closed my blinds closed my window we were sitting out here again and was this the same night it was the same night so when we were sitting out here and we were literally just watching a movie I looked over to my right because right when I looked to my right it's the door and right in the corner in the right corner of the door was just a little and the reason why I knew that it was like a young person was because it was short it was like just standing right there and like I didn't really say anything about it just because I was like I could honestly be seeing things mm -hmm. literally everything else that is happening it's like we never really talk about things we see until the next day and then like the way we describe things to each other is, is the always exact same? the exact same then the other weird thing is like whenever we're seeing and hearing things no one's around and like we're constantly having people over here like yeah. we have another roommate like who's around like decently often and she never hears things until yeah. recently it was like two days ago and she's in the shower and she said she heard knocking on the oh, door yeah okay. on the so the most popular thing I'd say we hear is knocking and banging. Like we're constantly hearing knocks on the walls, on the doors. Yeah. I will open my door so many times a week because I think someone's just like knocking on my door like this. Like most of the banging I feel is over in the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Mostly mm -hmm. I've seen like the stuff in her room, the stuff in the kitchen, and the stuff in the pantry, which is all on that side of the house. Yeah. Like there's just a very weird energy whenever you're over there, especially at night. Like, you always feel like you're being watched or like... And that's one of my biggest things is I always feel like someone's watching me. So like yeah. the other time I was doing, like the other night I was doing laundry in the pantry over there. But the laundry room and the pantry are like one like room. Together. Yeah. So I was like literally just putting my laundry in there and like from when I'm bending over, my hair is right here. So like when I look over, I see like a dark shadow but it's not my hair and I feel like someone's just watching me. And like they're just right behind me, like on the very side of my right shoulder. So yeah. it's just right there 24 7. So the yeah. other night, again, Chas and I were hanging out, and our roommate wasn't home. She was at work until I guess it would have been like 10 p.m. I was out here making a snack in the kitchen. And all I could hear was like this like little like singing. But Chastity was already in her room, so I kind of just like at first I just thought like she had music playing or something, but like Chas also listens to like hard rap music, like so, <laughs> or like the singing I heard was like very like very elegant. Our roommate sings a lot, like yeah. she like is always singing in the shower, like coming in her room or whatever. She's a really good singer. I thought that Hannah was home because it kind of sounded like her singing voice, and it like Hannah was not home yet. And I swear to you, I heard a singing voice coming from her room. It sounded kind of like her, so it's like almost like this like ghost or demon or whatever. It was like mimicking her. Like that's yeah. how I feel. Like it was like trying to like mimic Hannah's singing voice. Like it was very. Then one of the other freakiest things has happened to me. I was walking towards the kitchen, like making supper. Chastity and I had like a funny movie on, so like we were laughing, whatever. And it's like Chastity had like just finished laughing and then I like heard laughter like in my ear like right here Yeah, yeah I remember that And I literally turned around to like look at Chast to be like I literally thought she came behind me like that's <laughs> how loud in my ear it was And she was sat on the couch like still face like texting Also in the kitchen sometimes the lights <gasps> She told me I forgot me about that She told me this she's like before she's like the lights will, will flicker on and off Yeah Sometimes I'm like okay well I've never noticed that so like yeah. I'm just like okay then the, the exact same night, right above her after she said that, she's like, yeah. did you see that? I was like, see what? She's like, it flickered. I was like, no, I didn't see it. Then I saw the light flicker. I was like, oh, okay, it's not like it's, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like a theory as to like why I think we are being haunted. Well, number one, <laughs> there is a cemetery right down the road. Right down so, and oh. also, if you guys are familiar with kind of ghosty terms or like the paranormal, and you've heard of something called a portal, which is pretty much when one mirror is facing another mirror, and whenever you look into the mirror, you can see like all the different like kind of like dimensions, reflection after reflection after reflection. I about this. In my bathroom, whenever the door is closed, I have a little vanity behind my door, which has a mirror, and then I have my sink mirror that faces each other. And whenever you look into that mirror, it's so weird. There is like at least like you can see at least ten, ten different. Yeah, ten like the like, mirror ten times. So that's like one of my other predictions because of this portal that is in my bathroom. Maybe that's why like shit's coming through whenever like, my door is closed because then like the portal can reach each other. 
never saw that and I did not know. And then we mean. also did sage. Yes. We tried. <laughs> We came home and we started burning the sage and like following it like kind of like how you're supposed to. I think we maybe need to do it again. Yeah, because we were like, ghosty, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we made it mad because oh, yeah. after that, like that night, and that's it just us home. Mm -hmm. That's when we started seeing, like, seeing way more, more and hearing the stuff. And, yeah. like, and then last night, Mm -hmm. I was laying in bed. Like the whispering last night, like I was just turned over my bed so I was facing my wall watching my TV because my TV's right in front of me when I lay down. And I was just laying there and then all I heard was like a... in my ear and I was like, what the... and I just I almost shit myself out. <laughs> so and then I shit my... That is our ghost story number one because I feel like we will Definitely have more. Have more to tell you guys about. So we and are gonna film that video on Chastity's channel where we set up the cameras in a dark room and see if we can capture any figures or knocking or banging. So make sure to check that out. I'll have that linked down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.